Okay guys, JH, welcome back. Alright guys, now I normally would never never say this or teach this try to teach this to anyone but having it explained to me by way of of mechanical physics application I can understand why it works the way it does now we had Frank the tank commander Frank's Frank's getting on a bit Frank's 77 well so he's getting on <laughs> same age as me but Frank's had a few you know physical problems and I'm lucky I don't have any and he's lost a lot of speed but he got to the point where he was very very sort of insipid in the way he was swinging the golf club and I don't think you'll mind me using that terminology but the swing looked very insipid there was no speed and you know why there was no speed simply because there was no speed there was just no speed and why wasn't he swinging why didn't he have any speed because he wasn't swinging fast enough guys believe it or not the quicker you can take the club back here in the backswing the more speed you can put into the backswing the more inertial loading it will put into the shaft or storage into the shaft when you change direction it'll accumulate more it'll bend the shaft more because it's still wanting to go that way at a speed and you're reversing you're turning against that going that way now mr x and i were fiddling with this the other day and you want to see Mr. X do this. Golf swing looks unbelievable. Looks unbelievable. I mean, mine just looks quick. But guys, I've got to tell you, I really hit it. Uh, unbel much stronger when I do this. And what am I doing? I'm trying to swing the back, swing faster. Get that head loading faster. Swing it faster. And, and by doing that, I just change direction quicker. Watch this. This is my normal normal speed oh gee it's a good shot well it's a good shot five on here guys watch this the man almost say watch this watch this guys watch how, watch how quick I'm gonna load this Now that feels like the shaft is going to break when I do that. Okay, now you've got to do it and you've got to do it smoother. Hear that sound? That's got to look more aggressive, guys, because I'm really hitting that. I'm really... I'm firing that back as fast as I can. Now the thing you've got to guard against, and when you take it back, you'll get a bit spooked and you, and you won't let it complete the swing you've got to let it complete otherwise you get too short wow now a buddy that I hadn't seen for probably 15 years I saw last week and he saw me swinging he said you've lost some club head speed JH he said why are you swinging slower i said i'm not trying to he said yeah yeah i said what would you do he said just swing faster I said, what do you mean he said swing faster move the club faster i said how do i do this he said swing it faster he said what what about swinging it faster don't you understand and he was very emphatic he said just swing it faster i said where he said on the back swing watch this guys That's four iron distance. Might even be <laughs> maybe like, like almost three iron distance. A lot of speed on that. What does it feel like? Feels out of control. Because I haven't been used to applying that amount of aggression in my golf swing for a long time. But I've still got the speed. I just forgot that I had it. Watch this. This is just... I'm even giving it a bit of a jack ham grunt there. Okay. Now in doing that, and what he said after I'd hit about 20 shots and felt like I'd gone eight rounds with Muhammad Ali, he said, uh, okay, swing it back fast, but swing it back smooth. Swing it as fast as you can, but maintain 
the smoothness index in doing that. So I'll take him at his uh, direction. What's that look like? Tell you what that looks like. Looks like uh, <laughs> looks like a very very good shot. I mean that that was uh, that was motoring. I'll just turn around and hit a couple this way so you can see the the difference in the uh, in the look. Now, when I think speed, I think speed. I don't think smoothness. I've got to think s quick speed, uh, smooth speed. Like that. Now, guys, that's just hitting it harder. Or more to the point, swinging it faster. I'm feeling like this club is going to break on the backswing. When I, when I take that away there, I feel like I'm going to break it. Because I'm getting so much load in the shaft. Hit another one this way. It's a bit daunting aiming at that camera. See how I'm sitting in my legs guys. Now the one thing that you can do that you can that you can always do in your golf swing and benefit is keeping that lead knee bent. It does so many good things in the channel lock swing. Locks the lead hip out, locks the lead shoulder out, keeps the trail foot on the ground. Different angle. Okay. I mean, it gives me a really hard power draw because it's flexing the shaft more. Come smooth it out, Jay, smooth it out. Just like that. Guys, I'm hitting that hard. Now, for some of you guys have lost the speed, try it. Now, the other thing, there's something else you can do which is complete, and as they used to say now, for something completely different, this is for guys have lost a little bit of length in the backswing. If you can negative load the club, but no, load it softly, the more you negative load it, and the more you try and get the golf club to point towards the target, the longer your backswing will be. Just basically thinking this. Just think you're going to point the club at the target with really soft, loose arms. And, and you'll swing the club longer. Something completely different. I'll go this way. Here. Now, just come down. I mean, that's got so much hang time. What does that feel like for me? <laughs> that feels like I don't know where the club is. That's what that feels like for me. I don't know where the club is. But boy, it goes good. Watch this. Look how far back the ball is, guys. Look. Uh, news flash. That's the best five iron I've hit since I've been on Channel Lock. Wow. Now, that's not the quick speed. That's, that's an option, the other one. But that's just getting more negative load and just pointing the club at the target. Trying to get that happening. Guys, that's, that's five iron gone wedge height. And four iron distance. That's, that's the amazing thing. You just get so much so much zip on the doodah. I mean, that's really, that's a downtown shot. That's downtown.
grip pressure for a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 3. If you back it down to a 1, you'll be amazed how much how much fluidity you'll get in your wrists. Watch this. Pitching that shoulder down, pulling it back. There'll be a few news flashes today, guys. It's just getting better. I, you know, these soft mics just don't pick up the impact sound. I know when I get home. My son says on occasion, he said, Dad, Dad, it sounds like your insert on your golf clubs is made of cashmere. But guys, it really, that is that is real impact. Real impact. Come on. Come on, here. Negative loaded. News flash. It's just getting better. Wow. And guys, it's I've overcome not feeling the head as I do when I have it. <clears throat> full length. It was hard to get that negative load feeling in the head because the club was shorter. But I've, I've eliminated that now and I have got that feeling. So I'm just trying to get the club to point towards the target. If I could get the club to do that, I'd be the happiest guy in the world. It's an amazing feeling Channel Lock as a golf swing. You know never ever can the ball go here. You cannot drag the golf ball. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Guys, it doesn't happen. You can't. If your shoulders are closed and the ball's back and you've got five o'clock nose, you've got to be doing that. You can't get the ball going here if you're doing that. <coughs> Come on. The good thing about channel lock when you get it is that you'll have real consistency of distance because the ball won't come in and bounce anywhere. It'll come in and just stop like my normals, used to go out to a point and fall straight down. That's what I see my shots doing. They're not coming into a green and kicking forward, left or right or that type of thing and give me another five or seven yards. These are just stopping dead when they come down. And irons you want precise distance guys, we know that. Come on. Point the club at the target. News flash, that's the best. That's the best five iron I've ever hit since I've been on Channel 1. And that's what I love about this development program. I'm building the field, building the the uh, the proficiency of the golf swing every time I practice. It gets better. I never have I never have a regressive day. That's the great thing about Channel Lock. You never go back. You never go back. You're always the same or you go forward. You just don't go over here. It's not, it's not like an old golf swing. Watch this guys, I'm going to really negative load this and point the club at the target. Guys, that backswing has got, that club has got to be travelling further back for me than I normally get it going back. Wow. See, gosh, you don't get any miss hits. <laughs> you don't get any miss hits. Had a guy here the other day, and he basically paid, again, I get a lot of guys, I mean, he basically paid to watch me hit golf balls. And uh, he, he enjoyed himself. And again, he made the comment to a lot of people, it's a guy, we'll just wait for you to hit the bad shot. But they don't come. Like a little push. But that's all. There's, there's no skunk shots. There's no miss hits. No skunkers might hit a... Third or fourth groove, you wouldn't know it. No skunks. No stinkers, as Johnny, Johnny Miller would say. That one would stink the whole tournament out. No, don't get any stinkers.
and that ain't a stinker. Wow. Or I'm just going to hit a couple, or I'm not going to look for the ball. I'm just going to hit them because I know where it's going. Yeah, I, I look up at the end, I just look up and there it is. I know where it is. Lots of five o'clock no's. Come on, baby. It's just timing, guys. If you just get that little bit of now, I was just teaching a minute ago, <laughs> telling you to go really quick. That's if you've lost speed. But for me, if I can get that little sort of half soft pause, watch this, little pausey wausey. Like that. Wow, 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 wow. Craig Guthrie, you like the wow, wow, wow? Because, guys, that, that is a wow shot. That's a wow factor. The wind's come up now, and I'm just, uh, I'm just punching holes into it. You might get 10 minutes here where there's no wind, but that's all. Excuse moi Yeah, guys, the six iron length three wood and the seven iron length uh, hybrid six iron length three wood look at this and this is like a little bit stiffer than a rebar oh it's probably not that bad it says nothing like the drive it's probably about 275 cpm Watch this. <laughs> What's the difference between that and the five iron? Probably 50 yards. That's all. <laughs> no difference in the golf swing. How about that? You can hear that, guys, but that's, that's, uh, as my old buddy used to say. Old, uh, great Australian player, Ted Ball. Lightning Ted Ball. Tour player. Nearly won the Australian Open against Arnold Palmer. He used to call that Contact City. Watch this, guys. Six iron length three wood, guys. What's that swing look like? Six iron length three wood. Wow. You know what it looks? I know what the ball fly looks like. Looks like Hammer City. See, it's, it's like a, a stand and deliver shot. I'm just standing still and smashing it. The body's quiet. The arms are quick. The body's quiet. It's windy now. Really windy. Okay, smooth it out. Come on. Seven iron length hybrid, 18 degree hybrid. Eighteen degree hybrid. And it is stiff. Ooh. Look at this. I 
don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that. What's the ball flight? Hard, flat. Hard and flat. I say flat, a good trajectory but really boring because we're straight into the wind. So I've got the feet down all the time now guys, I don't have to do anything else. Just love the short clubs. Keep the legs bent. Wow. Now this is a very stiff club and that was a really strong power draw which meant the shaft must have bent quite a lot to get that power draw. That was motoring. I can't believe how much power draw I'm getting on this. I, you normally have to have a fair bit of the toe kicking down and shutting to get that ball flight. And with this shaft as stiff as it is, it shouldn't do that. I must be loading it so much. Guys, that's, that's, that's crazy. I mean, that, that's like a slinging power draw. I just don't hit that shot. That's just wow, like that. The club is just reacting so much. I don't know how that's happening. That's the hardest power draw I've ever hit in my life. Just went wow. I don't particularly like that shot, but man, that would go. Come on. That's the one I want. One yard draw. One yard. Can't believe how far, at least the seven iron guys. Try the new new Cobra one length uh, hybrids. They're the same length, 37 and a half inches. I've hit them, they're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. They're like this, this feels just the same. Last shot, KJH, light them up. How strong can you hit this 37 and a half inch hybrid? How strong? Load it. That hard. I'll never go back, I'll just never go back to, to normal length clubs, I couldn't, I couldn't. And this will be interesting, I'll grip this down. So I'll go down to crazy length. This is 37 and a half, I'll grip it down four inches, 33 inches long. I don't even know what it'll do, but into this wind I reckon it'll be a borer. Look at this, this is crazy. There would be no, there would be no measurement on a swing weight machine to measure this guys, this would, this would be in the A's. You just couldn't measure it. Look at that, look. I don't know, it should just go so flat. Look at this. Do I feel uncomfortable? No. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. This is crazy. I'll have my hands down here soon. The shorter I go, the further the ball goes. That's 10 yards longer than those other shots. Look at this. All it is, guys, is conservation of angular momentum. Closer I can get the club to me, the faster my arm swing. That's what's happening. That's just gone mild. Absolute mild. Well, that's the longest, that's the longest one I've hit.
what's going on here? Yeah, look at this. This is the length of the golf club. Ha! This is off the scale. Can't wait to show Mr. Rex this. No one will believe me. The South American Amazonian uh, opens on and I get a few of the, uh, the Amazon pygmies and train them for a couple of weeks. These are the clubs I'll hit. Players this tall. Look at this guys, this is nuts. Look at this. Oh come on Jake, you can't hit the ball like that. How do you hit it like that with a golf club this short? Guys, this is... So what happens if I do that with the three wood? What happens if I grip the three wood down four inches? We end up with a... <laughs> end up with a three wood shorter than the wedge. What happens? Don't know, I haven't hit one. Look at this. Look at this. That's the length of three wood. Watch this. Oh! You're kidding, Jake. You're kidding. You've lost it, Jake. You've lost it. I can't believe this is happening. This is Twilight Zone stuff. This is Rod Serling. This is Twilight. I'll call this Twilight Zone Golf from now on. It'll go from one atomic golf to Twilight Zone. Because none of this makes any sense. Look at this. How can you hit a three wood that length? Again, this would be in the A's. This would be an A zero. Or an A minus. Look at this. I'll tell you what, guys. I feel unbelievable balance. Oh. You've got to see this. You've got to see this. The wind is so strong, it's just boring holes in the wind. Look at this. Now, what would the flex be now? Down here. 5x? Well, probably not, but, but, but 3x. If it was 275 before, down here it's got to be 300. I think everybody's been going the wrong direction. Hogan had it right. Hogan had the stiffest golf clubs of anyone. Mo Norman told me that. He had X shafts tipped two inches. Martin Ayres made up a set. Same specification as Hogan's. I couldn't hit them. I could hit the seven iron about 100 metres. But I only hit a couple of shots. I said, I hate, it's too stiff for me. I can't, but you know what? I didn't persevere with it. Marty hit it miles. Miles. The only difference was his clubs were really heavy. His were like E6 or E8. But, uh, I never persevered with it, but maybe that's why Hogan had those super stiff shafts, guys. Maybe we've all been going the wrong way. We've been going the wrong way. Watch this, three wood. Wow. We've been going the wrong way. Come on, last shot, last shot. I don't mean last shot. Come on. Last shot, best shot. Well, that's the longest shot today by 15. Why am I keep hitting? Because I'm, I'm out of my tree. I can't understand what's going on here. I don't know what's happening here. No explanations. Other than the conservation of angular momentum is at its peak. I feel so balanced, guys. I feel so balanced. Wind is so strong. Last one, and I promise you this is the last one. This is the last one. I have to go over and uh, have a drink and a couple of tablets. I don't know what's going on here. Look at this, guys. This is silly. Silly, silly, silly. If you could just see this. If you could just see this. 
Now I can't just hit two shots at the normal length, which is seven iron, a uh, six iron length. Here. What does that feel like? Doesn't feel like anywhere near the balance I've got with the short one. Nowhere near it. And you know what? I can really feel that shaft flexing. But I can't feel it flexing down at that really short length. Come on. Wow. Okay, last ball. Come on. Get it down. Right down. Okay guys, crazy day. Crazy day. No idea what's going on. Long video, but it's crazy stuff happening there. Call this busy video Crazy Sunday. Madness. I've no idea what's going on here. All I know is that they're the best shots I've ever hit. They're the best shots I've ever hit. Okay guys, uh, yeah, so I don't know what's happening. But uh, long video, sorry about that. But uh, you've only got to look at those swings to know they're good and hear them. They're perfect. Don't go out uh, cutting your golf clubs down, guys, because they're not just cut down golf clubs. There's a lot of thought going into those. The shafts, flex is really important. Head weights are important. All sorts of stuff going on here. Um, but Frank's clubs we cut down the other day, we did nothing to that. Nothing to that driver, just cut it down to 40 inches and uh, it went great for him. So uh, yeah guys, crazy Sunday. Crazy day. Wow.